Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Season 2 of K9 Corner. I'm your new host, Jackson Ray, and I'm joined here in the kennel by Angel Madera and Yuli ruiz Ramon. How you doing? Hey, good, good. How you doing? doing? Great. All right, guys. First episode of new season. I want to start it off with one of my favorite things in the world, some sports. So uh, I don't know if you guys keep up with, like, NFL or anything, but the season just opened. I mean, the first game on a Thursday night football, Chiefs versus Ravens, that crazy, that ending was so crazy. It was, it was crazy, about crazy it. opener to the Heard season. Crazy it. opener to the season. Tell, tell me about the game. Tell me about the so, game. So it was a close game, like, whole time. And it came down to a last play for the Ravens. Uh, it was basically, like, four seconds left on the clock. And Lamar Jackson threw it to Lively in the back of the end zone. And he was out of bounds by his big toe. So they lost the game because of a big toe. That's insane. <laughs> it was That's one insane. toe. One toe away from the win. What about you, Yuli? You got, you got any, any football teams you keep up with? Any, any sports team you keep up with? Uh, I don't really have a, like a preference. I just think whoever does like the best um, play against you know, the other team, whoever has good strategy... <laughs> Because I don't get like the whole like when people beef with like football team <laughs> over football teams, because like it's just he's not into that mindset. Yeah, I'm you, not you don't you don't understand rivalries. No, come on. Now, I think know? they're I think they're kind of made up. <laughs> <laughs> made up rivalries. All right. Okay. Well, Yuli, you got any like topics you want to talk about? Topics. Well, um, something up and coming. I've been exciting, excited about. Um, Silent Hill 2 remake is coming out in th this October, I believe, on the PS5. I'm not sure about the other consoles, but um, it's co yeah, it's um, coming out this October. I am really excited for it. It's one of the the probably the maybe the greatest game I've ever played, the original on PS2. So it's a video game. Yes, video. so I'll okay. tell you about it. I'll tell as much as I can <laughs> with a high school level age rating that I can say <laughs> but it's a basically this guy he gets a letter from his uh his wife to come to a town which is Silent Hill that's a big um place in the franchise except his wife died three years ago after that and like the once he goes there the game explores like mental health um trauma it's that just deep. so interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> deep it's like <laughs> 10 hours 10 hour youtube video level deep oh, really? yeah it's yeah. got that lore Yes, it's <laughs> got that lore. That's an understatement. <laughs> well, I did hear you were talking about uh, a movie earlier. You like, can you tell us about that one too? Yeah, um, this week, well, last weekend, I saw Beetlejuice two in theaters. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, it was really good. It did not live up to all my expectations, but when you go up against the original Beetlejuice, I don't think you can. Yeah, it's just impossible to do. Um, so, but it, it was still really. I still thought it was very good. It was, good. it was tough? Yes. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm excited for it. I'm mm -hmm. excited. And there's other movies I'm excited to for. Like, mm -hmm. excited for too, my bad. Um, new movies coming out this this year. 2024. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Spooky season's coming up. We got spooky movies. We got, we got. you know what I'm saying? To to be chilling with friends. Get, get a little, little nice. nice you know, spooky season. Best spooky, time of the year. Mind, you know what best I mean? time of the year. So, um, I'm going to start off with the movie that I'm personally most excited for. The Minecraft movie. It's not a spooky movie, you know what I'm saying, necessarily, but this trailer was a little, <coughs> was a little spooky. The trailer was a little lie. spooky. It was a little spooky. It's, um, I mean... I mean, I personally don't think it's going to be good. It's, I it's think not going to be good. We'll talk. But, <laughs> but being a childhood game, I'm going to watch it. You know, I'm going to We gonna have to go it. watch you it. You have to watch it. We yeah. have to go watch it. So you have to. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about, like, the main characters being actors and not animated like everything else. It just doesn't make sense to me. That's, nah. It just doesn't fit. It, just, it doesn't fit, exactly. exactly. Like other adaptations of video games, um, like movie adaptations of video games, don't do something like that because it's just so weird and like not really fitting it just in. Fit. Like the Mario movie, that was like, I love the art style with that one. You know, the, yeah, that was good. That, mm -hmm. was good. that was good. Well, like I was, I was, like I was saying, you know what I'm saying, Yuli, with the spooky movies, yeah. we got Terrifier 3 coming out. Like, yeah. that's, that's my most Terrifier anticipated movie. one. I heard it's going to be way better than the second one. And so, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I, haven't wa I haven't watched either of the first ones, but I heard that stuff in is intense. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. Crazy. I've, Have heard you watched it? I, I've heard about it. That it's crazy. They're crazy. I'm going to watch them with my friends. You know what I'm saying? It's coming out October. So I'm so, I'm so excited. You know what I'm saying? Halloween. 
We, we, we got it. We're ready. We got Joker coming out too. Joker 2. Can't pronounce the name too well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. Not really it. fluent. You know what I'm we saying? We got Lady Gaga in it. Hey, it's going to be lit. We're going to see how, you know, see, see how it plays out. I, but. I don't think it's going to be as good as the first one. That one's going to be tough to beat. That one's going to be tough. Real the, talk, it was. The first it, movie was great. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The acting is. I mean, the acting to get into the Joker role is, I mean. Crazy intense. Yeah. You have to prepare for months. Mm -hmm. You have to, like, starve yourself mentally, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And, like, just really push yourself. And, I mean, I think it's crazy. And, well, I mean, for the last movie, too, we got Venom. Venom coming out. And, I mean, come the, on, man. The Venom 2 wasn't even that good. It the, wasn't. Fir the first one, I love the first one, but I didn't think 2, like, lived up to the first movie. I'm not going to lie. I like both of them. I really did. I really, I think, I think... I'm saying enjoy my popcorn the whole time. I had a, <laughs> a nice little snack. Might have snuck in some, you know what I'm saying, some Wendy's or something. <laughs> some Wendy's yeah. in the movie theater? Have you, have you watched the, the Venom ones? You no, know? but I heard they were good. No? Ah, they're tough. They're, I mean, I'm excited. Venom's pretty good. They're pretty good. All right, well, All Jackson, right. That's, I mean, that's what I want to talk about. Yeah. Jackson, you want to kind of take us away from here real quick? All right, quick? That, that's, that's enough from us three. So, we got a very special guest joining us today, and it is Mr. Cormac Jewel. Welcome, welcome. Ooh. How's it going? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are we doing? We good, we good. Jackson, do you like anything? I just swear, like, everything you said, I don't, like, ah, it's not that good. <laughs> not really, not really. No. Haterade, okay. Fair enough. Well, uh, how's it going today? Hey, so, so far, so good. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed those late start Wednesdays, but, man, they're really nice. It just makes Thursdays extra long because I'm used to that schedule. Oh, yeah. It's not that I don't like you, you students, but the two hours without you is not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> do you come into school like normal time or do you sleep in on Wednesdays? No, we come in at normal times. We, oh. You think we get to sleep in? Yeah. I, Business I, is always booming did. in this high school, guys. Business <laughs> is always booming. So, yeah, we're here normal time, 715, PLC, then we get some other stuff going on. So it's fun. It's enjoyable. All right, going back to your classroom for a second. Mm -hmm. We know that you like to play some music, especially your 2010s classics. So can you tell us, like, why are you so into that music? I mean, nostalgia. I mean, what's the reason you guys want to see this Minecraft movie? It looks weird. But uh, nostalgically, it, I don't think any genre beats 2010s. You got Katy Perry. You got some really good brat music. You got, I mean, it just covers it all. I don't know. I don't know how you guys don't like it. Two thousands is pretty good, and if we're talking like rap, maybe nineties. But for just like as a whole, twenty tens, it's got the anthems. It's, it's the best music time of all time. Thank you. Okay, we're on the same page. <laughs> Finally, you like something. I do like something, and Bruno Mars, he's my oh. favorite. Yeah, it was, I'm, I'm seeing this list back here. We got what? What is this? Justin Bieber. We got Miley Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, can you tell me a little bit about this? You know, what I'm saying this little mix of of. 2010 music. You can't hate on Bieber, all right? Bieber is, I know he's Canadian, and he's connected with Drake, but I'm okay with Bieber, all right? Um, but Miley Cyrus, come on. Even Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus. Like, it's just, it's just nothing but great. Nothing but great. Mm -hmm. hey. I could sing all pi or Party in the USA as we speak right now. <laughs> well, he brought up Drake, and recently we had the Drake and Kendrick beef yeah how are you feeling like th about that because we we do know that kendrick is your favorite rapper right he's up there he's up there <laughs> mm. uh if, if if we even call it a beef at this point i'm pretty sure kendrick put him in a casket a long Definitely. time ago Definitely. but then he just like put some salt in the wound by just saying that he's going to be the halftime for super bowl exactly so mm. it's just continuing the the excellence that is kendrick lamar oh. k dot kung fu kenny all of them and how do you feel about the halftime show are you excited about it Excited is an understatement. I would say for Snoop Dogg. And then you got this coming out. Man, is it going to be good. better than Usher? Mm -hmm. Usher was great. But that was great. Usher was good for my generation. I don't know if you guys enjoyed Usher that much. <laughs> I, when he I came out was, on roller skates. I, 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 thought it was pretty I good. liked so it. That, no that was so cool. That, that, that show. One of my favorite halftime okay, shows. Good. Yeah. Bruno Mars was a rough halftime show. But that was also COVID. I'll blame that. Oh, yeah. Bruno. Everything's COVID's reason. <laughs> Bruno was pretty rough. <laughs> 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 I will, like... Keeping it, keeping it going. So like, I've heard you've, you know, what I'm saying, had some, had some, some good haircuts in the in the past, right? Oh God. I saw, I have some intel, and I have some pictures some of. Pictures. Hold on, look? I'm gonna stop you right here. While we're still on music, okay. We yeah. know you like to sing, but what about dancing? Oh, ooh. You must got some intel, didn't you? Yep, we do. Oh. You want to check out the TV behind you? I don't need to watch it. I live it every day. <laughs> yeah, uh, dancing is something that I've always enjoyed. Uh, I don't know what it is, but uh, 
when those certain 2010 highlights come on, you can find me middle of the dance floor uh, getting after it. I'll just say that. Living on a prayer right there. Living on a prayer. Bon Jovi? <laughs> yeah, even give me anything. I'll, I'll hit the dance floor. Well, you want to explain that video to us a little bit more? So that was, I do know exactly what that was. That was when we were at Epcot in Disney, oh. and it was a wonderful day. And uh, the sun went down, and uh, the music started playing. The, the vibes were high, and we were, we were just enjoying ourselves to some John Bon Jovi. Did you have a bit too much German beer at Epcot? <laughs> No such thing. I, do, I don't do any of that stuff. No. We had really good Pepsis and Cokes. Oh. Um, they went down nicely. I saw you said we. Uh, I only saw like you. Oh, no, no one followed me. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> they said, hey, come on. So I was like, cool, we're going. And then I looked back and no one was with me. <laughs> Doesn't stop me. Doesn't stop a good time. <laughs> Doesn't stop a good time. And then you're trying to get the crowd to join in too? Yep, they did not. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the hype man can only get so far. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to talk about your terrible haircuts. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's you say terrible, there's but also, Justin Bieber was a big thing back then. <laughs> and that haircut, I actually do blame on a student who went here. Uh, I won't call him out. He said, I, I had a bet with him during uh, the baseball season, and he, uh, he delivered on the said bet, and his bet was, I get to cut your hair. So I said, okay, don't mess me up. And he, in fact, did, in fact, mess me up. He didn't tell me that he didn't know how to use scissors yet, so he didn't take anything off the top. So he just cut the sides, and then I looked like an Amish. Uh, <laughs> I looked like an Amish man for all of my engagement pictures. Which yep, yep. And we do, oh, we do have yeah. your engagement pictures. Which yes. That is, oh, my God. Yeah, he, he did not tell me. He did not understand how the, the scissors part works. So. Did he, well, did he try and, like, put a bowl over and snip around? Because that's what it looks like happened. That was the longest haircut in my life. <laughs> I was in his garage for an hour and a half, <laughs> and he just cut the sides. For that? Oh my God. Again, I won't that's... call the student out, but, yeah, it was, it was an experience. It, so was, it was definitely an experience. Don't bet your hair. Yeah. Never going <laughs> to bet the hair again, especially since it's already kind of losing it. I got I to gotta live the last couple years out with, with the, <laughs> without the, the baldness, the male pattern baldness that's in the future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't all right, we're going to move on from here here, okay. and we know you're a big sports guy. Love it. And Minnesota Vikings, but you were, grew up in Ohio. How yes. did you become a Vikings fan? That's a great question. So, weirdly enough, my father is just as weird as I am. Um, and so my grandpa was a Notre Dame guy. My dad was born in South Bend. Um, so his favorite player, you will not know who this person is, his name's Alan Page, who played for the Vikings, and he was part of the People Purple Eaters, which was the best defense ever to see the, the football field. So from that moment on, he was always a Vikings fan. And then I tried to experience the non-Viking ways. Uh, I tried like liking the, the Lions, but when I was growing up, they were 0-16, so I said, that's not happening. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Barons. Um, and then I tried liking the Panthers for some reason because I like Steve oh. Smith. Oh. And then that was just like, no, nah, it doesn't feel right. And then I really just went into my roots. I became the Vikings fan that I am today. Uh, and yes, I'm very happy to be a Vikings fan. And one of these days we will win a Super Bowl. But that day is not yet. But hopefully, J.J. McCarthy. You might make it happen. <laughs> that that good-looking man might make some stuff happen. And, Jay, and Justin Jefferson, you are correct. So, yes. I'm very excited about the Vikings' future. I mean, well, like, you know what I'm saying? Keep, keeping the topic on sports, uh, I heard you're a soccer fan, but <laughs> I tried looking up your, like, your favorite soccer team, and they're just, I don't know who they're they are. Mediocre. Who are they? We also have no trophies in the soccer uh, fandom either. I'm a Tottenham fan. Um, I do love Tottenham. I've gotten into Tottenham way more since COVID happened, since like they were the only sports that were happening. So I got all in on the Premier League, uh, kind of too much in the Premier League. Um, and uh, yeah, I am a diehard Tottenham fan. Go Spurs. Um, and uh, we have a huge game this weekend. Huge match. I'm sorry, I got to speak like the, like the Brits do. We have a huge match. Uh, the match week this week is Arsenal. It is our North London Derby. And uh, I feel good. I feel real good, man. I feel real good. <clears throat> Where do you think they're, like, going to finish in the Premier League? Probably not first because we never win. Um, top four get us into the, uh, the Champions League. We're going to win the Europa League this year, I'm telling you right now. You heard it here first. We're going to win the Europa League. 
I'm going to keep you to that. I'm going to keep you to that, yeah. And if I don't, I'll cut my hair. How about that? Oh. <laughs> no, oh. not again. Never uh, again. You said. You let me and Yuli cut your hair. Yuli. Yuli's cutting your hair. I trust yeah, Yuli. I think, yeah. I, we, should, we should make it official. That <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Uh, all right. That's kind of crazy. All right. Okay. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm scared now. All right, not nah, but um, to continue, continue with the segments, you know what I mean? Uh, we got a new segment. Well, not new, but like, you know what I'm saying? New Re- to season returning. two. Returning. Returning. Re- oh, returning. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm ready. Uh, it's called the Fast Five. We, we got you. We, I have five questions for you, and you have five seconds to answer each one. Okay. All right? So don't go into depth. Just Don't go into depth. Whatever just, just comes into your head, all right, all right? I got you. All right, number one, what team is getting, like, winning the Super Bowl this year? Vikings. In my hopes. Who's really winning it? Probably the Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, this question actually comes from Yuli. Ooh. Um, Why don't you change your profile picture? In your email. <laughs> <laughs> when it's that good, like, that's just a great picture. Like, I don't know. Why, why would you change perfection? <laughs> All right. Um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ooh. I would have the ability to... Fly. There we go. Is that five seconds? Fly. It's Why not? not? Seven, but. Oh, hey, you got it. Yeah, I would say fly because I hate driving a car. Oh, yeah. No, it's not yeah, that I hate driving a car. It's that I trust no one on the road. That's respect, though. It's terrifying when I see, like, students next to me. I'm like, dude, you can't even see over the wheel. <laughs> All right, for sure, for sure. I got two more, two more for you. What would you do on America's Got Talent? Oh, dance. I would dance. Trying shows right now? Not at all. I need, I need <laughs> good music. <laughs> and it has to be a feeling. Uh, if it was like... You Yuli know. can sing. He can sing for you. No, no I can't. <laughs> no, I, can't. <laughs> I will dance if Yuli sings. How about that? No. Thank <laughs> you. Thank, <laughs> for sure, thank for you, sure. Yuli. That works for me. All right, last one. Uh, would you rather be in a pit of snakes or a tub of spiders? Die? Can I say die? <laughs> <laughs> uh, a pit of snakes or a tub of spiders. Let's go Spiders. I don't feel confident with that answer, but I'm going spiders. Spiders? Yes. Yeah, spiders. Spiders. I, I hate both. <laughs> both. Both suck. But um, right now, we do have an extra, an extra special question from our uh, directors. From our directors. If we can go, go ahead and cut to that. Oh, here we go. Hi, I am Nora, the technical director, and here is Ethan, the director, with the director's question. Hi, the director's question is... Where did you propose, and is it where you ideally wanted to? All right, well, a special thank you to our directors. Um, the question, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where did you propose, and where was your ideal location? So, where was it your ideal location? Yeah, so I proposed uh, in Nashville, not Tennessee, Nashville, Indiana. Oh, mm-hmm. Picturesque area. Um, yes, I would say it was ideal. Was it my perfect location? No, it would have been like in like Viking Stadium at the <laughs> Super Bowl celebration <laughs> and in the background is JJ McCarthy holding the trophy and then I'm like, will you marry me? And then she <laughs> says yes and we're, we become part owners of the Vikings, but <laughs> that's, that's the ideal one, but she said she didn't want to wait forever because <laughs> the Vikings have never won. So. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't think it's happening any uh, time in your that. lifetime either. That's <laughs> hurts the feelings. <laughs> All right, I have uh, extra special bonus question for okay, you. Okay, we're double bonus. Okay. Yeah, we're double bonus. And our question is, Taylor Swift or Beyonce? T. Swizzy or Beyonce? I think the only correct answer is t- Beyonce. Beyonce hey, is the correct hey, answer. Hey. I, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Taylor Swift, uh, she is something special. But she is also a Chiefs fan now. So I can't, I can't appreciate that. She's a bandwagon. But I do love her music. I'll give you that. But Beyonce is Beyonce. Like, come on. Beyonce is Beyonce. Queen Bay. Queen Bay. Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Jackson. All right. Go ahead. Well, that's about all we have for you. Uh, thank you for joining us. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yep. You look great. Thank you. Those dance moves. They could look real good in those shoes. I'm, I can't move very well in these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all for watching. And that is all from us. Thank you to the crew for putting this together. And anything else for you guys? Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned yeah. for more. Thank you, guys. Yep. Join us next time. Peace. <laughs>